Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Spooktober. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm just acting silly because I have apparently gone delirious from watching this film called Venom. If you even want to call it a film, I don't know what this is. I don't even know what the hell I just saw. At some point, it felt like I was watching a Transformer movie and my brain, my brain just checked out. I was like, yep. Yep, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, but no, seriously, um, oh my god, this fucking movie, f fuck Sony, and I don't know what persuaded, uh, what's his name, what the hell is his name, uh, see, I'm so brain damaged from this film, I can't even remember the actor's name, um, Tom Hardy. Is it Tom Hardy? Yeah, Tom Hardy. Uh, I don't know what persuades... Uh, sorry. Sorry. Getting PTSD from watching Venom. I don't know what persuaded Tom Hardy to do Venom uh, other than a paycheck. This movie told me that he wanted to do this role for a paycheck and not for the hardcore fans. Now, before you say anything about, well, this movie is nothing, it's not supposed to be like the comic books, I knew that ahead of time, all right? So I did some research before going to see this film. I knew it was going, not going to follow the history of the comics. I knew ahead of time that it was not going to include Spider-Man. And I was still curious to see if this was going to work as a Venom standalone film without all of the prior history that was in the comic books. And to me, as a hardcore Venom fan, as a Marvel fan for many, many years, fuck this movie. <laughs> fuck this movie, and I don't know how anyone, or how any fan, sorry, I, I know there are people out there who think it's good because they're not true fans, but... But but the true, true fans, I don't know how could they possibly can say this movie was good. It, it, no. No. <laughs> uh, you know, at first, when I heard all the negative reviews, I was like, no, can't be, can't be as awful as they said it would be. And then when I finally saw it for myself, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh CGI pretty bad. Pretty bad. It makes Henry Cavill's CGI upper lip when they, you know, CGI'd over his mustache for Justice League, it makes that look like a masterpiece. Maybe I might be going a little bit too harsh there, but honestly, it is very noticeable. The pacing I don't even know what the hell to say about the pacing. I mean, I was like an hour and 20 minutes into the movie and there was no Venom for a movie called Venom. I was like, okay, well, at least they're doing things with the other symbiotes. So at least we get to see the other symbiotes like the comic books, right? Like, like separation anxiety, huh? Now well, we get to see Scream and the other symbiotes. No, no, we don't get to see none of them. We see their symbiotes as, you know, the small blob things. We, we don't get to see them in their full form, like the comic books, we only get to see one of them, and that's Riot, who is the villain of the film, who... I don't understand that part at all. <laughs> like, Riot, in the beginning of the film, latches on to, I guess, one of the uh, medical workers in the, ambula in the uh, ambulance, and um, she goes wandering off for like six months, Six months. Six months of uh, this riot symbiote transferring to different bodies just to make its way to uh, the main villain of the film, which I, I don't even remember his name. And yeah, instantly he's more of a bad guy, I guess, because now he is riot or he has the riot symbiote and he wants to go to outer space to bring other symbiotes to Earth? 
uh, I, like I said, I kind of lost interest, so I wasn't really paying attention that much because I was just so brain dead to everything that was going on on the screen. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Venom indeed makes out with Eddie Brock. Uh, granted, it was She-Venom. So you do get to she you get you do get to see she venom in the film, but it was awkward. It just seemed awkward, like they kiss and then you see the symbiote go back on to Eddie Brock and yeah, yeah. So that was a thing. <laughs> uh, the part after the whole motorcycle chase where you get to see Eddie Brock using some of the symbiote's powers to you know, escape the guys from uh, the Life Foundation. That whole sequence, I felt, went on for a little too long. Um, and then after that whole sequence, he becomes full Venom, or Venom in full form, and uh, I think he bites a guy's head off? Yeah, that happened. But it was so brief, and they actually cut away from what actually happened because of that, you know, they wanted to give it that PG-13 rating and not rated R, so... Yeah, after he does that, he just runs away, jumps in the water, and jumps out of the water. And he forms, you know, the Venom face looking at Eddie Brock's face. And so they're basically talking face to face. And uh, Eddie Brock's like, oh, what are you? Or what the hell are you? And the symbiote, he's like, oh, we are Venom. I'm like, no, no, no. See, as a comic book fan, that does not quite work for me because... Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a thing in the comics where they already had names from their home planet, but, uh, see, the Venom that I grew up on, he kind of came up with that name when they had that hatred towards Spider-Man, so that whole thing with, oh, whoa, what are you? We are Venom. Like, what? It, excuse me? You're just gonna... Okay, so I, I, I guess you already had this name? On your home planet. Oh, and that's another thing, too. When he's uh, talking to Eddie Brock later on in the film, he's like, Well, back on my planet, I'm a loser like you. Um, yeah, that, I'm not even lying. That That's an actual line in the film. He, Venom, calls himself a loser. Um, so that's the thing that happened. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the pacing, slow, boring, you don't get to really see Venom until like another, I don't know, hour and something so minutes into the film, <sighs> and when that happens, honestly, to me, it was still kind of boring, when I saw Venom jumping around doing his thing, I was like, no, you already lost me, you already lost me, film, I know, uh, Sony had to have possibly have known that this was going to be an utter disaster of a film <laughs> without Spider-Man or without any of the other history in the comic books. They had to have known. They had to have known. What was Sony thinking? Did, did they really want to create a Spider-Man universe so bad with all these other characters? They're trying to pull a Marvel and pull a Marvel Cinematic Universe, but no. No! Just give that shit to Marvel. Let them handle it. Sony? God, and Tom Hardy. Tom fucking Hardy. Why? Why? Did you even... <sighs> it was for the damn paycheck. It had to have been for the paycheck. He had to look at this script and went, yeah, this is exactly what Venom fans want. Hardy, no. No! Ugh. So... Ugh. Sorry, more of my brain cells are dying by every second. It's making it very hard to speak. This film was trash. Fuck Sony. Fuck Sony for fucking up one of my favorite comic book characters ever since I was a small child. And, uh, you know, I first found out about him 
through the comic books. Matter of fact, uh, now, yes, I do know the history of, of the black suit, how Spider-Man gets the black suit from the Secret Wars, but I was introduced to Venom through the Maximum Carnage comic books. And uh, from there on, I think I bought one of the trade paperback books of the, the history of Venom, but starting when Eddie Brock first gets to symbiote and becomes Venom and he starts, you know, stalking Spider-Man and pretty much starts going after Spider-Man a lot. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I was, uh, such a huge fan of that character. And that, you know, that's how I found out about him even before Spider-Man, the nineties, the nineties Spider-Man animated series, because when that cartoon came on the air, I was sitting there the whole time going, man, it would be cool if they finally introduced Venom. And they finally did, and they did it right, by the way. And I was just so friggin' stoked to see Venom in the you know, 90s animated series. But, yeah, it's like, really, Sony? Really? You know, at, at certain parts in this film, I was getting vibes from that Spawn film. <laughs> Because a lot of this film does feel like an early superhero film from, like, early 2000s, maybe. And, uh, oh yeah, there's quite a bit of it that did remind me of Spawn. Quite a bit of it. And, uh, yeah, they do, I guess, try to set up a sequel but with the end credits scene. Which, it did not get me hyped, by the way. It, like I said, the film lost me, so when I saw the cameo and... I knew who it was going to be. I was like, nah, I don't want to see this shit. Nope. <laughs> nope. I do not want to see a sequel to Venom. Give this shit to Marvel. Let them fix this shit. Or, you know, by completely rebooting this. I This should be just a one and done. A one and done Venom film. No sequels to this. No. No. Ugh. Brain. Brain. Brain is deteriorating. Can't think straight what's happening to me uh dying 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 i'm trying to think was this the, the worst film i seen this year in 2018 ah uh, well this and predator are pretty neck and neck predator fucking broke my heart it was not the Predator that we deserved, let's put it that way. They turned the franchise into a fucking joke, and I can't believe people, a few people, actually liked that fucking movie, because it's, it's not supposed to be what the Predator is supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be a fucking comedy movie with a bunch of fucking silly jokes and Predator doing comedic things, and it's... Fuck that movie. Fuck Shane Black for fucking fucking that movie up also. Jesus, how come it seems like anything I love from my childhood just goes to shit? Fuck. Ugh. Sorry for the vulgar language. I apologize, as you can tell. Uh, very, uh, a lot of pent-up anger right now. So I'm just gonna let it all out. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, movie was trash. It was a big ball of trash. I don't know what else I can say about it. Stan Lee's in there as a cameo. I can't believe he said yes to this shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm dying here. I'm dying. Oh, matter of fact, I wish I was fucking dead. Oh, fuck. Fuck, this movie made me wish I was dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Hey, man. Hey, to anyone listening to this review, if you like this movie, more power to you. Kudos to you guys. If you love this movie, congratulations, man. But for me, man, this was a big fucking insult. This was a slap in the face to Venom fans. It was. It fucking was. Ah, uh, jeez. Ugh. You know what? That Justice League movie is not looking too bad now. <laughs> uh, this makes Justice League looks like an Oscar-winning film. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, yeah. Yeah, anyways. Uh, so that's my... 
<laughs> then a movie review slash rant. Hope you enjoyed listening to this. I apologize for all of the F-bombs. I know YouTube has a policy, I guess, against foul language, but uh, sometimes when you're enraged, sometimes you just got to use that foul language. <laughs> uh, all right. And plus, I use foul language all the time when I'm talking with my friends. So real in real life, I talk with a lot of, you know, F words and S words and all that stuff. So I just try to keep that stuff to a minimum whenever I'm doing YouTube videos. Because, uh, you know, trying to clean up my act a little bit so YouTube doesn't go, Oh, fuck, this guy's using curse words. He's doing naughty things in his video. End his channel now. End it. End it. He's not pure. He is not pure. Oh, God. Uh, going delirious again. This movie. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Anyways, stay awesome. And uh, avoid this movie if you are a super, 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 super hardcore fan. Even knowing that this has nothing to do with what happened in the comics, I would say still stay away from this film. Don't watch it. Give it, I don't know, maybe a rental if you're that curious. Wait till it comes on Netflix or some shit. Avoid this. Avoid this like the fucking plague. And hope to God that this doesn't get a sequel and gets rebooted by Marvel somehow. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Rant over!